All right, so this is a Game Boy Color, but it's pretty dirty. The switch on it is pretty dirty. Like I can turn it around and the light here. Yeah, and it makes some sound. Yeah, I mean, basically it needs a clean. I did not test the buttons yet, even though I uh, bought it used. Hopefully they work after a clean. I don't really care if they work now. But I'll give it a clean anyways. I do recommend that you give all of these retro Nintendo, yeah, I mean retro consoles in general, a clean before you use them. Because they are often really dirty and often defective or almost defective. So, yeah, I mean, I just get this thing open and uh, clean it from the inside. That's probably the most important part of it. So there are six screws back here. I'm not able to take that one out. But it doesn't really matter. I'll just take it off with the entire case. Just like that. Speaker works, by the way. That works, which works. I mean, I think games also, I don't remember if I tested games. But uh, yeah, the cartridge slot looks fine. So games probably work. Why shouldn't they? So yeah, let's get these three screws out. Then look at the bottom where we have the buttons after I unplug this. And this, bam. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, not that dirty, not that dirty. But uh, I'll give it a clean, of course. Got some isopropyl alcohol right here and a toothbrush. Boom. And starts, what the hell happened there? I, that's first time I see that. Um, yeah, okay, now I'll have to test games because, what the hell is that? Is that a resistor in there? What the hell? I mean, it's been a while since I've ordered a Norwegian Game Boy. This is bought from Norway. Maybe it's a factory problem that the factory fixed themselves. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Japanese Game Boys don't have that at least. And I do not think Norwegian Game Boys do from what I remember. I still deal with these much more Back in the day when I didn't use Sendico, but now I do. So I don't really order these anymore, but I was just browsing. I needed a Game Boy. So I just went on to the local mar local marketplace, picked it up pretty cheap, about $45 plus shipping. Shipping was about $80. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty fine deal. And after restoring all of that, I can sell it for about $90. So it's pretty nice, pretty nice. Boom. Take a uh, Q-tip. Yeah, as you can see, a little dirty, but probably not defective dirty. Mm-hmm. Done with the motherboard. Now clean these. Clean a little around here. I actually used to wash these with soap back in the day, but now I get so many, it's it takes too long. There's, it's just not worth it. More worth it to just replace the entire shell, but I don't really want to do that. I want to keep it original. But sometimes I do replace the shell if. Uh, I don't know. It depends. Different situations, you know? 
And sometimes I just use original shells because I have many of them. Especially the transparent uh, Game Boy color shell. I have so many of that. Because people aren't really searching for it. I used to actually reshell them to Pokemon shells back in the day. Which was about a year ago. <laughs> So yeah, now let's just get this back together. I don't think I have a game to test it with, honestly. But uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a pretty short video. Five minutes. That's, that's how long it takes to restore one of these. I'm not even gonna edit the video because, I mean, I wanna keep it as raw as possible. Is there anything I should have edited out? I don't think so. That's right. And do y'all want flashy, flashy things on screen? Maybe some of you, but uh, I feel like it's better to keep it raw as possible. And uh, I'm not gonna add background music, probably. You've probably noticed because, first of all, I'm having some copyright issues and uh, also I feel like it's pretty nice to not have any music, I don't know. I'll see the statistics of this video and compare them with uh, the ones that have background music and uh, see if I maybe should continue with this sometimes no background music and no copyright stress because that often is an issue on YouTube it says copyright free music you give credit to the creator and you still get a copyright strike you appeal, you appeal it and still Still, copyright strike, which sucks. You can't do anything with it. Other than make your own music, <laughs> which is pretty bad. See, so yeah, I guess I'll have to try to find something. some new music to use in my videos. And for the almost last part, I'm just gonna clean this. There we go. Now, one last wipe over here, and then the battery cover. Yeah, this video is gonna be almost 10 minutes. I'm gonna give this a clean. You know what, I shall also uh, give the volume switch a clean. Just in case that's defective. Just a quick. You know what, EXT port 2, why not? There's still some dirt in here. One last wiggle, boom. And now, switch sounds good at least, which is of course good. Boom, now. Put in the two batteries that I actually got with the Game Boy for some reason, I don't know. And I actually have the exact same batteries. Close this up. And test. No sound. Because I cleaned the power switch. Sound switch.
Bam. So that's it. That's gonna be it. This is me restoring a Game Boy first generation. This is me restoring a see-through Game Boy Color. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.